Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my Line of Gods Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today I will be continuing with Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church, and he killed James the brother of John with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison, and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly and his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and the second ward, they came unto the iron gate that leadeth unto the city, which opened to them of his own accord, and they went out and passed on through one street, and forthwith the angel departed from him. And when Peter was come to himself, he said, Now I know of a surety that the Lord hath sent his angel, and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod, and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews. And when he had considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, whose surname was Mark, where many were gathered together praying. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to hearken named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, she opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in, told how Peter should, stood before the gate. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. But Peter continued knocking, and when they had opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. But he, beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, declared unto them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. And he said, Go, shew these things unto James and to the brethren. And he departed and went into another place. Now as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers what was become of Peter. And when Herod had sought for him, and found him not, he examined the keepers, and commanded that they should be put to death. And he went down from Judea to Caesarea, and there abode. And Herod was slightly displeased with them of Tyre and Sidon, but they came with one accord to him. And, having made Blastus the king's chamberlain their friend, desired peace, because their country was nourished by the king's country. And upon a set day Herod, arrayed in royal apparel, sat upon his throne, and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a god, and not of a man. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him, because he gave not God the glory. And he was eaten of worms, and gave up the ghost. But the word of God grew and multiplied. And Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem, when they had fulfilled their ministry, and took with them John, whose surname was Mark. Praised be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the first idea, and uh, what, what I would like to please discuss in this chapter is this. I want to talk about the courage of uh, Christians. And in this case, both I want to give some references to both the early church here, and the church today. So here beginning in Acts 12.2, this is Herod who has done this. It reads, And he killed James the brother of John with the sword. So the idea is, and I talk about this a lot, the idea is, yes, money and numbers are a form of human power, 
I always talk about how first comes God, God who is the ultimate power. And so in this case, James has been martyred for his belief in Jesus. And yes, in today's church, there are many more adherents than there were this time. For example, in today's church, there are 2.5, 2.6 billion adherents. And yes, in that sense, there are more of those people. But I want to give credit to those Christians in the sense that whether there were few people or whether there were many, when adversity comes and adversity strikes, somebody of the group still has to face the adversity, right? So in this case, it was James, the brother of John, who was martyred, and he showed tremendous courage. Uh, I actually think about, for example, um, when Pope Francis speaks, when Papa speaks in his weekly Angelus, he gives one, and I love listening to him speak. He spoke, um, I think it was maybe a year ago, about two, um, I think, evangelizers. Their names were, don't quote me, I think it was Nicholas Sella and Thomas Melky, something like this, and they were martyred for their faith in Turkey. And I just have the utmost respect for those Christians because, as Jesus said, the evangelizing cannot stop. The spreading of the gospel cannot stop. The, you know, the idea of converting and truly converting believers, it should not stop. You know, the idea of spreading the gospel. So, whether it was when the church was few or the church was many, somebody faces that adversity. And I want to give credit to Christians for their courage. Next, the next verse I want to talk about is when Herod dies, which is just incredible. And it reads here in Acts 12, 23, And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. This may not have been Herod, actually. Don't quote me on this. I'm actually not sure the context. I think... Yeah, I, I, who, I'll have to look this up on who dies in Acts 12, 23. I may have misinterpreted this. Yes, it is Herod. Yes, it is Herod. So I did read it correctly. I just wanted to make sure. So the verse reads, starting in Acts 12, 21 through 24. And upon a day, upon a set day, Herod, arrayed in royal power, sat upon his throne and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God and not of a man. And immediately the angel of the Lord smote him, because he gave not God the glory. And he was eaten of worms and gave up the ghost. But the word of God grew and multiplied. And it was it's just such a powerful idea because I always talk about how you, you must give the glory to God for everything. You know, after every one of my workout videos, whatever it is, especially off camera as well, I'm always giving the glory to God Father. I'm giving the glory to God Son. I talk about how I need them, how I fear them, how I love them, you know. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and His mercy is on those that fear Him from generation to generation. And so I just talk about that because of the fact that you know, this is a powerful example of how, how Herod has been doing wrong, and then he doesn't give the glory to God. Literally, it says, because he gave not God the glory. And I, if you know me and you've been listening to me talk for a long time now, I always talk about how you must give God the glory. So that's why it's uh, so important for that reason, because of the fact that, um, you know, in this case, Herod was literally smote dead because he did not give uh, God the glory. So that's uh, very, uh, very powerful there. So, um, very good, very good. And um, yes, so that pretty much sums up what I would like to talk about from today's video. So that I'll go ahead now and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Dive video. Since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I worked at my chest, I worked at my legs, and I created, uploaded, and will schedule today's Daily Dive video for 10, 12, 24. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Dive video, I... I think I can add to that that I also trained jujitsu today. I I should be adding that to the list of things I did because I I have completed as of this recording seven classes of jujitsu. So I guess I've started my journey. So I felt I guess I can say that at this point. So that I want to go ahead and say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care and.
Thanks again.